that whole scene, I really think, was the perfect storm. It was the time, it was the place, it was the radio station, it was the studios, it was the clubs. I'd say people, I'd say luck, I'd say talent, and the right timing, and it came together. If you played Hot Legs, you were the band of the century. I wanted to change all that, so we started doing Sex Pistols, ACDC, kind of tethering toward the new wave crowd, and, and pretty soon, the whole thing was catching on. It was the best time of my life so far. Those young years, you know, those teen years, early 20s. I you know, know I probably I spent the past 15, 20 years trying to recreate what I had. You knew that you were on God forsaken, the end of a peninsula, and it was a pilgrimage to get out of here, to get into the real world. They wanted their music, and we were different. The other bands were different. The whole scene was different, and it would allow them to say, hey, this is mine. Thank you, welcome to the Sheila Whitkin Memorial Concert. Sheila was such an influence on all of these bands. When people were slamming doors in their face, Sheila was pushing through the doors for them. She helped, she supported, she loved, she nurtured, she cared. She cared about people probably more than she cared about herself. She's definitely a totally full-on spirit of rock and roll. You got to kind of witness uh, the, the beginnings of you know, careers and people's attitudes, plus their whole crash and burn that went along with it. And hey, I'm surprised so many people are still alive, really, if you want to know the truth. I knew I had to come because I knew this would never happen again. Every market thinks that their music scene was special. And having experienced many of them, I can assure you, there was nothing like this one. It was, it truly was special. The drummers here, are, to me, are the best drummers around. Bino, who plays in the kids, he still had that, that Miami, South Florida drum feel. Same thing with John, he's got that boom, you know, just this kind of funk feel that they have, even in the rock tunes that they play. So if you see any bands that are in the national spotlight now, and their youth was in Florida in the 80s, well then, the people here tonight can take some credit for the influence. I thought, you can't work this hard, you can't believe this much, and, ha and it just not happen. Life, you know, takes its toll on all of us, but I think it's a circle and we come around again. And maybe this is uh, the beginning of uh, it coming back around again for me. Freedom, uh, the dream, living the dream. I wouldn't trade those couple of years where we really, really felt everything was within our grasp. It was right around the corner. It was happening. But you cannot escape the black hole of rock and roll. <laughs> yeah.